Right before the starting gun went off, Shaq Harry Richardson did something no one saw coming. She cracked a smile, took a deep breath, and reminded everyone around her to wooza. In a sport where every second counts and tension runs high, she managed to stay cool, calm, and almost playful. Can you believe she pulled that off just moments before the biggest race of her life? Let's watch the time, 1075! Oh my goodness! Shakari has a unique perspective on these pre-race moments. While most athletes might buckle under the weight of the pressure, she sees no point in being overly serious or letting the tension get to her. She's all about keeping it light, staying relaxed, and reminding herself that, at the end of the day, it's just another race. It'd be so tense back there. Everybody has to be so quiet and just so serious. And I just be like y'all. Like, yes, we are gonna race each other. Yes, we are gonna do what we do regardless. But still, relax, Husa. she once shared, perfectly capturing her approach. I, mean, I know that no matter what I do, no matter what decision I make, I know that it comes from me. This could be her moment. This should be. This Wuza moment, as she calls it, is her way of grounding herself amidst the chaos. It's her little reminder that staying calm and composed is just as important as the physical preparation. Shakari's philosophy is simple. Why add unnecessary stress to an already high pressure situation? Instead of getting caught up in the seriousness of it all, she chooses to take a deep breath, relax, and enjoy the experience. It's a mindset that not only sets her apart from her competitors, but also helps her maintain the mental clarity needed to perform at her best. If you've ever seen her in action, you know that she's not just running, she's flying. But what does it actually feel like to move at such an incredible speed? According to Shakari, it's almost like stepping into a different dimension, where time slows down and she becomes the center of the universe. In her own words, running fast is like being in a movie scene where everything around you slows down and you're the only thing that's moving. It's that surreal sensation of being in the spotlight where the world fades into the background and all that exists is the track beneath your feet and the finish line ahead. It's a moment of pure focus, pure adrenaline, where nothing else matters except the next stride. Have you ever had a moment like that? Maybe not while running, but perhaps during an intense moment where everything else seems to pause and you're fully immersed in what you're doing. That's the kind of experience Shakari describes, and it's what drives her to keep pushing herself faster and faster. For her, it's not just about winning races, it's about chasing that feeling, that thrill, that rush that comes with being the fastest. Every great athlete has faced their share of setbacks, and for Shakari Richardson, 2021 was a year that could have broken her. Just when it seemed like her dreams were about to come true, everything came crashing down. After securing a spot on the US Olympic team with a jaw-dropping performance in the 100 meters, Shakari was poised to shine on the world's biggest stage at the Tokyo Olympics. But then, the news hit. She had tested positive for marijuana, leading to a one-month suspension by the US anti-doping agency, USADA. It was a devastating blow, one that not only cost her a chance to compete in Tokyo, but also threatened to derail her entire career. For many, this kind of setback would have been the end of the story, but not for Shakari. Instead of letting the suspension define her, she used it as fuel to come back even stronger. Over the next few years, Shakari worked tirelessly to rebuild her career, proving to everyone that she was more than just that one mistake. Her comeback was nothing short of incredible. She racked up wins at various track meets, showing the world that she hadn't lost her edge. And when the Paris Olympics rolled around, she was ready to make her mark. At the Paris Olympics, Shakari proved that she was back and better than ever. She finished second in the women's 100-meter race, solidifying her status as one of the fastest women on the planet. But the real highlight came in the 4x100, meter relay, where she anchored Team USA to victory, securing a gold medal. It was the ultimate redemption, a moment that silenced all the doubters and reminded the world of Shakari Richardson's incredible talent and resilience. Shakori isn't just known for her lightning-fast sprints. She's also recognized for her bold and distinctive style. 
Whether it's her brightly colored hair, her long, elaborate nails, or her eye-catching outfits, Shakari knows how to make a statement every time she steps onto the track. She's not afraid to express herself, and that's something that sets her apart from many of her competitors. This fearless sense of style isn't something that just happened overnight. It's deeply rooted in her upbringing, shaped by the strong women in her life. Shakari has often credited her grandmother and aunt with encouraging her to be her true self, both on and off the track. They instilled in her the confidence to embrace her individuality and to never shy away from showing the world who she really is. And that's exactly what she does every time she races. Shakori's style is more than just a fashion statement. It's a reflection of her personality and the journey she's been on. It's a reminder that she's not just running for medals, but also running for herself and for the legacy of the women who've inspired her. Whether she's blazing down the track or striking a pose for the cameras, Shakori Richardson is always unapologetically herself. And that, in itself, is something truly powerful. So, let's get to the part that has everyone talking, the moment that left fans and the media absolutely stunned. During a recent Q&A session with BBC Sport on Instagram, Shakari Richardson did something that most athletes wouldn't dare to do. She peeled back the curtain on what it's really like to be at the top of the sprinting world, and she did it with a level of honesty and flair that only she could pull off. In this candid conversation, Shakari didn't just talk about her wins and losses. She gave us a glimpse into her mind, her philosophy, and her unapologetic attitude towards the sport. One of the standout moments was when she described the pre-race atmosphere, where the tension is palpable and everyone is so serious. But instead of getting sucked into that tension, Shakari revealed how she chooses to stay relaxed, even playful, before stepping onto the track. Her approach is so different from what we usually expect from elite athletes, who often appear laser-focused and intense. It's as if she's saying, yes, this is serious business, but that doesn't mean we can't have a little fun. But the real insane part came when she talked about what it feels like to run fast. Shakari compared it to a movie scene where everything else slows down and she's the only one moving. It's a sensation that's both surreal and exhilarating, and hearing her describe it was like getting a peek into a world most of us will never experience. It's not just the speed that's insane, it's the way she experiences and articulates it, making something so physically demanding sound almost magical. Fans and the media couldn't get enough of this side of Shakari. Her words resonated with people because they weren't just about running, they were about life, about how we handle pressure, and about finding joy in what we do, even when the stakes are high. The reaction was immediate and overwhelming. Social media lit up with praise, with fans expressing how inspired they were by her outlook and her ability to stay true to herself, no matter what. The media, too, was quick to highlight this moment, framing it as yet another example of why Shakari Richardson isn't just a sprinter. She's a cultural icon. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.